Hello, welcome to one more video. My name is Stella. How are you? In this video, we are going to make this cute crochet octopus. Look at how cute they are. I made them in so many different colors. So come with me. Let's make these cuties together. We are going to need scissors. Tapestry needle, stitch marker, I'm using a piece of yarn here, fiber fill, a 5 millimeters crochet hook, and a number 6 bulk yarn. The yarn I'm using is a burner blanket in the color grass. So, we are going to start by making a slip knot. And then we are going to chain two. One, two. And we are making eight single crochets on the second chain from the hook. One. Two. All right, so here's the last one, eight. And it looks something like this. You can also start with a magic ring and eight single crochets inside of that magic ring. But I think it's just easier to just make two chains and then eight single crochets in the second chain from the hook. And then I use a stitch marker and I place it in the last single crochet I made. You can also use a proper stitch marker here, right? But I, I don't have one right now, I'm gonna use a piece of yarn. It also works very well. <laughs> now we are going to work eight increases. So we're gonna have a total of 16 single crochet at the end of this round. So an increase is two single crochets in the same single crochet from the previous round. So, one, two, in the same. So, let's do that all around and I'll meet you when I'm in the last one. So, here we have 15, 16 single crochets. And round two is complete. Let's move on to round three. And don't forget to place the stitch marker on the last single crochet from the round. In round three, we are making one single crochet. And then in the next single crochet from round two, we are making an increase. One single crochet one increase in the next. One single crochet, one increase in the next. In a total of 24 single crochets. So here we have 22, 23, 24, in the same stitch there, in the same single crochet from round two. And there we have it. Round three is complete. Let's go to round four. In round four, we are making two single crochets. So one, two, and then the increase. So one, single crochet, one more in the next, and then we are making the increase. One, two, together. So we are following this pattern all around 
until we get to 32 single crochets. All right, so to finish this round, let's make one single crochet, one single crochet, and then the increase. In a total of 32 single crochets. Round four is complete. Let's move on to round five. So now in round five, six, and seven, so for three rounds, we are making 32 single crochets all around. So one, two, three, and we are going to make 32 until we get to the stitch marker. And then round six is the same thing and round seven, the same thing. So here I'm getting to the end of round five and I'm going to make single crochet number 30, 31, and the last one, 32. Let me place the stitch marker here in the last single crochet. And I'm going to start round six. One, two, three. And I'll meet you when I'm in the last one. So here I am back and I'm making the 32nd single crochet. And our octopus is looking something like this for now. I'm now going to start round seven. And in round seven, we do the same thing as round five and six. We make 32 single crochets all around. So here's the end of round seven. And I'm going to make the 32nd single crochet. And our octopus is looking something like this. It's almost done, look at that. Let's move on to round eight. In round eight, we are going to work two single crochets in different single crochets from the previous round. So one, two in the next, right? One and the second one here in the next. And then we are making a decrease. I grab the two front loops of two single crochets from the previous round and I combine them with a single crochet. So let's do it again. One single crochet, one single crochet in the next and then the decrease. So we are doing that all around and in the end we're gonna have 24 single crochets. So here is round 8 completed and let's move on to round 9. In round 9 we are also working a decrease, but this time we are making one single crochet and then a decrease. One single crochet over here and then a decrease in a total of 16 single crochets for this round. So this is the end of round nine and we are going to start making the tentacles now. How exciting is that? So let's start. To make the tentacles, we are going to be working in the front loops only of the single crochet. So if you look from the top here, you can see that the single crochet from the previous round has two little loops here. We are going to grab the front one, the front one here, look. So we are going to be working only in the front ones. So we are going to make a chain and then in the single crochet here, working only on the front loop, 
we are going to make three double crochets in the same single crochet. So, starting here, one double crochet, two double crochet, and three double crochet. It's going to be something like this. And then we are going to chain one and down here in the next front loop of the single crochet, we are going to make a slip stitch there. There you are. <laughs> it's looking something like this. So now again, we are making a chain three double crochets in the front loop over there all together all in the same single crochet and then we make a chain and then we go to the next single crochet there the front loop of the single crochet and we make a slip stitch look we have two tentacles so we are making that until we get eight tentacles let me make one more with you guys so chain one three double crochets over there one two three chain one and then the slip stitch down there the next single crochet we have three tentacles so i'll meet you in the last one here so i'll make five more Four more actually, because I will make the last one with you guys. All right, so let's chain one for the last one. Make three double crochets. One, two, three. Chain one and make a slip stitch here in the last single crochet from the previous round. slip stitch there you are and our octopus is looking something like this for now it's super cute already look at that we have one two three four five six seven eight tentacles now before we close here at the bottom we are going to place the safety eyes and is the stuffing so now we are going to place the safety eyes between rows six and seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But you can do whatever you want, right? You can place them in between other rows too. It's up to you. At about 2.5 inches apart. There you are, it's so cute. And you can also make cheeks and a mouth here. It's up to you. Both ways are super, super cute. I just like to keep it very simple. Let's also start stuffing. I like to start closing it now and see if I need more fiber fuel later. Let's do that. And now we are working 16 single crochets on the back loops of round nine. All right, so let's start. So the first one is right there. One. Two. Three. There, look. Four, five, six. Let's continue all around until we have 16 single crochets. So in this round here, you're gonna need a little bit of intuition to find 
the back loops. It doesn't need to be perfect. Just make sure you make 16 single crochets here, right? Look at how mine is. And then we are going to make the last round, which we are going to make eight decreases. So it's going to be eight single crochets for the last round. So in the last round, we are working eight decreases all around. So let's just start the first one. One, two, and then let's get the third one here, three, and then we make five more until we have eight. It's looking like this for now. So I'll meet you back in a second. So this is the end of the round. We still have a little hole here. We are going to cut a tail here, a short tail. And then we are going to close this hole with the tapestry needle. I'm going to put a little bit more stuffing inside this little hole here as a finished touch. So it's looking like this, super cute, like that. And as I said before, this is the bottom part of the octopus, right? It doesn't need to be that perfect if you add an extra single crochet or if you have one less single crochet, it's not gonna make much of a difference, right? Everything is good, don't worry. So let's close that. Here I have my tapestry needle. And in a crisscross manner here, I'll close this gap. So I pass my yarn tail through here from this side and then I go from the back in the other one. And in this way I can close the gap, look, front part, back part, and pull. Three times is fine. And then I'm going to hide the tail inside the, the octopus body here. Make a knot first. There you are. Let's cut the excess and hide that little tip that is out. And look at this, it's so cute. I love the green color. I made them in other colors too. So I have the green one, pink one, very bright pink, and the red one. Oh, and I also have a, a blue one. Look at that. They are so cute together. They are so cute. Look, I made one in green, a blue one. I also made a red one and a pink one. And I'm so curious to see what color you are going to make. So please tag me on Instagram if you make one. I would love to see yours. And I hope this pattern was useful and easy to follow. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.